start. She has then urged that the insistence on behalf of the petitioners about the possession of an eco-marked paper which can only be environment friendly is a misconceived argument in as much as eco-marked paper is a separate category of paper with additional requirements as per the notification dated 9-11-1992 which standard has been framed only for licensed manufacturers. She contends that this has been done to ensure that a manufacturer who desires to get the paper manufactured by it labeled as eco-marked, then this option is available to the manufacturer only on fulfillment of the conditions of eco-marked that is to be utilized as a label for such paper. This according to her does not mean that only eco-marked paper is environment friendly. The mark or logo so applied for by a manufacturer is therefore confined to such an option that has to be exercised in the process of manufacturing. It is not necessary or a compulsory requirement of eco-friendly or environment friendly paper. For this, she has relied on the answer given by the Bureau of Indian Standards dated 1-4-2016, a copy whereof has been filed as annexed SCA-7 to the short counter affidavit of the state to urge that eco-mark may be a particular type of standard mark, but the same is optional and if a paper is to be possessed of eco-mark only then it has to comply with the requirements of BIS mark with the additional requirements as prescribed under the notification dated 9-11-1992 and the standards of BIS that have been framed in pursuance thereof. It is therefore submitted that neither is there any violation of law nor is there any violation of a constitutional policy nor do the petitioners have any right to compel the state to change its choice so as to include their quality of paper as well. Para. Sri Onil Tiwari, Land Senior Counsel for one of the intervener printers, has urged that the state government has the right to change its policy and it has therefore done away with the policy of utilization of recycled paper altogether. This part of the policy is not even under challenge. He submits that the petitioner's contention that eco-marked paper can only be utilized for such printing of textbooks is based on the presumption that only eco-marked papers are environment friendly and eco-friendly. He submits that this contention is absolutely misconceived and without any basis. He submits that paper that is recycled paper as indicated in the notification dated 9-11-1992 under clause 2 within bracket Roman 2 thereof has already been done away with and which is no longer in dispute but at the same time since there is a catch which can also be a mischief in the quality prescribed for paper under clause 2 within bracket Roman 1 to the extent of utilization of virgin pulp the state government has rightly specified virgin pulp wood and bamboo based as the basic quality of the paper which will eliminate the possibility of any other virgin pulp including that of recycled paper para. He submits that the manner in which the quality of paper under clause 2 within bracket Roman 1 to be used has been indicated namely that paper manufactured out of pulp containing not less than 60% by weight of pulp made from material other than bamboo, hardwood, softwood and read may also allow the utilization of pulp of recycled paper to the extent of 99%. Thus, what has been done away with by excluding paper under clause 2 within bracket Roman 2 can be in a around about way 
be introduced by the utilization of paper mentioned under clause 2 within bracket Roman 1 for which the petitioners appear to be insisting. It is for this reason that the government has introduced a specific nature of raw material namely virgin pulp wood and bamboo based only to exclude the possibility of utilization of any contaminated paper. He submits that the argument of the petitioners that only eco-marked paper would be environment friendly is misconceived in as much as it is not the case of the petitioners that the paper which is made of virgin pulp wood and bamboo based is not environment friendly. He has also adopted the arguments on behalf of the other respondents to advance his submissions and has cited authorities to substantiate his contentions. Stop.